How's it, Aloha gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. We are gearing up for this year's 2024 Native Hawaiian Convention. Here to tell us more about what we can expect is Mehana Okala Hain from the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement. Mahalo nui. Aloha, aloha. Thank you for making time for us, Mehana. We know it's a very busy time for everybody over there at CNHA. Right. So as we gear up for this year's uh, convention, though, it's taking place on Hawaii Island for the very first time. Very first time we're going to Hawaii. You know, last year, of course, more most appropriately, we went to Maui. Right, um, and so this year we're going to Hawaii. We're making our way around our our paiaina uh, to visit all of our our peoples, you know, everywhere that they are. Uh, Mehana, what is the theme for this year's convention? It's experience Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a simple theme, but Hawaii has so much to offer. Right, uh, all of us who are local, who live on other islands, or even people who live on Hawaii Island, those that come from outside of Hawaii, um, Hawaii has just so much to offer culturally, environmentally. Mm -hmm. Right, the, the the gifts that that island keeps giving us is is tremendous. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the conversations, some of the breakout rooms that are going to mm -hmm. be taking place. Obviously, uh, regenerative tourism is one of the things that we here at home continue to talk about. Right, that's a big you know that's a big part of our convention, but we're also doing a lot there's over 100 workshops wow. of course let me state that um, before I forget there's over 100 workshops that are going to take place over the three days and regenerative tourism is a is a theme of course culture and cultural practices is a team a theme um, and and how it is that we build resiliency in communities right discussions from um, how do we get more food secure all the way to financing and owning homes right mm -hmm. just the, the the width and the breadth and depth of, of those type of of conversations are going to happen. Uh, and uh, echoing what was just said about kind of uh, the way that people experience here in Hawaii mm -hmm. as well. Also, um, a guided tour that's actually yeah. going to kind of kick off the convention, mm -hmm. right? Yep, our Kilohana group is is doing a guided tour of, of sites that are not too far away from Waikoloa, but they're taking them by bus and they're going to Pukuhola, mm -hmm. uh, Mahukona, um, Kalahui Pua'a, you know, very significant sites right in that area. Mm -hmm. And, and why, why, did, why did you folks uh, select those specifically for the you tour? Know, those well one because it was it was in that area so that we could have people experience and also come back to the convention but those sites were very important in in the history not only of Hawaii Island but the history of Hawaii in its totality places like um, Pukohola right the the living spaces too that are still currently being used um, for cultural practitioners like Mahukona and Kalahui Pua'a we're also taking our youth over to Kahalu Umakai which is a community schools property that they've restored, they tore down the hotel that was there and restored the site um, back with the hail that are on those sites and it's become a learning lab. So those type of experiences, getting out of the hotel and going into those spaces, super important to us in this convention. And uh, among the many conversations that are gonna be taking place, uh, one that are involving the keiki, mm -hmm. our, our teenagers kind of mm -hmm. listening to the voices of the future. Yeah, our partners um, and, and our great friends over at Kanao Kana are gonna host an up late at night with the appeal, and it's going to be a chance for them to do civic engagement. What we call, what we call civic engagement for them, it's going to be talking about the issues that are important for them through their eyes in their communities, and bringing that forward to share with the rest of the appeal. Uh, Mehana, in addition to that, there's the tour, there's the many breakout sessions that are mm -hmm. taking place. Also, another great opportunity to support Hawaii Island businesses, our yes. vendors with the makeke. Right, makeke is going to be there in full force. Right, there's um, and, and the designers that are going to take part in the free. Um, well, it's free to convention um, goers, mm -hmm. fashion show. Um, they're Hawaii Island based. They're all going to be there with their wares, um, and then we have the whole range of the of the makeke that's going to be there um, for all of our um, participants to take place in, and okay. shop, and spend their money with Hawaiian-owned businesses. You know that that support our local economy. All right, so it is coming up. In fact, it kicks off one week from today, September seventeenth, yes. eighteenth, and nineteenth. Yes. How do people get tickets, Mahana? What's the best? So way? they can go online. At hawaiiancouncil.org and right on that home page will um, have links that lead you right to it or if you come from Hawaii Island come and join us just come down absolutely mihana mahalo nui for mahalo, being here. Okay. and again for more information about the native hawaiian convention head to our website as well highnowdaily.com we're going to head to break we'll be back in just a bit great job mihana mahalo